He's flown across the Atlantic to fight Tony Oki in Bristol on Saturday, but for Jeff Lacey, this meeting with Joe Calzaghe was just as important. Ten years on from their super middleweight world title unification fight, the two warriors met in Joe's hometown of Newbridge, South Wales, to talk about their epic battle. If someone always have your number, and I just never, as you, as you spoke about, I never saw myself ever giving up, even if the stacks, it was stacked up against me. I just kept going and kept going and kept going forward. And I was thinking eventually, you got to slow down. Mm. You, you have to slow down. But you didn't. <laughs> but you didn't. Freaking next, <laughs> the next, the next freaking. Joe, ten, 10 years on, Joe, yeah. has this guy changed much? He looks the same, mate. He's in good shape. He's looking uh, in great shape. I've changed. He's put a few I'm pounds always, on since. I mean, but what, can they, what can they say? I can just say, um, obviously, about the fight. Um, a massive respect, obviously, to Jeff to fight in that fight because I saw elevate my career. So mm -hmm. I think he was the star coming through. I believe he could walk for anybody. Mm -hmm. And I went through hand trouble, broken hands, injuries, everything mm -hmm. else. So that night, my mental preparation, you said, was prepared to die in that ring. Yeah. That, that night, I was at my best, 33 years of age. Yes. That was everything was on that night for me. I was willing, you could see, and the thing is, like you said, you know, we both been injured going through the fight, but you were still coming through and believed in yourself so much. But I've been through all the injuries, yeah. nine years of champion, the underdog, everybody said I was going to lose, the UK press said I was going to lose. So my mindset was like three o'clock in the morning, yeah. running, faster, yeah. training, was going to pull out, thanks to dad, he, made, he said you have to fight this fight. Yeah. So you can blame him for fighting for, for me fighting no, that fight. No, no, because, oh, because much, man. So I fight the fight. I'm always, you know, I'm always happy to see it. Like I've always because this fight's being spoke about, and it takes two mm. people in the fight. Although obviously I won the fight. You know, if it wasn't for your heart, your courage, and your determination to go through the twelve rounds, a lot of fighters would have took that punishment. So yeah. you, you show the champion heart. And the warrior heart. So I always have respect for Jeff, and uh, it's lovely to see you ten years later. I've been a decade, my man. <laughs> oh, man. I wish just get all the it's best awesome, in the future, man. But Joe, he's boxing he's still a champion. Again. He's this still a champion. weekend. He's yes, boxing. Yes, yes, uh, what, what do you think of that? He's well, I hope we, we, we do the business, man. I hope we win. You know, yeah. you know, I, I'm, I'm finished, but that was a bit older news. Yeah, than you are, but um, obviously, wish Jeff all the best, and wish him a win. But I will have to tell you, you're gonna make me live the rest of my life with dealing with that. Our, our epic fight, you know, I mean, this is something that's, that's been tough for me, you know, um, because the more I'm still active in the boxing world, your name always shows up. Your name always comes up. I mean, especially when I'm, I'm on here in your neck of the woods. I'm, I'm getting ready to fight Tony Oki on Saturday night, and your name always comes up you know I mean you did a you did an awesome 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 job in your career but I wanted to be the one that's gonna give you that one and take that zero away and that's the reason why my effort and my go forwardness never never quit in that ring 